did you see from Julius that that allowed him to reach that level? And what were your your uh, perceptions of Julius as a player after spending time with him? Well, I think when you look at Julius, the work that the body of work that he put in in is a reason why he had the year he had last season, and he's doing the same thing this season. I mean, he works at his craft, and you know it didn't hurt that Kenny Payne came along that had a relationship with him that really pushed him over the top and helped helped him get you know to the next level. And I mean now, it's you know it's a part of his everyday life you know i mean he sl- eats and sleeps basketball and it shows on the basketball floor from the outside about you know the minutes the guys play and and rj and julius were near the top of the list for minutes played you know something that that doesn't get talked about a lot is is what happens in practices between games and how uh, a guy take, plays big minutes the night before. Maybe he has a lighter day and practice the next day to kind of balance things out. Uh, did you see that last year? Was that an approach that the club took last season with the practices? Well, well think about it. Tibbs has been in this game a long time. You know, you guys don't give the coaches enough credit. You really don't. You know, Tibbs ain't no dummy hell. He knows when his guys are, he knows when his guys are tired and they need a break. You know, I mean, he's a veteran coach that's that's been around and and understands the, the, the dynamics of his players. Uh, but at the end of the day, when Michael and Scottie Pippen were winning titles, do you think that they were playing 20 and 25 minutes a game? No, you know, your great players are programmed once you put them in position to play big minutes. It's just a part of the game. And I've never known great players to say, hey, coach, that's too many minutes. Take me out of the game, man. I need a rest. You know, it doesn't happen that way. So I think Tibbs and his staff and front office people, they're smart enough to know when players need breaks and things of that nature. But at the end of the day, it's your best players with the supporting cast that's going to win the title for you. So you got to play them.